I'm Ted Coe, former high school and college mathematics teacher and the director of mathematics at Achieve. Hi, I'm Maya Daugherty, former high school and middle school reading and English teacher and the director of literacy and ELA for Achieve. It is important that students are given high quality aligned work no matter how small the task is during instructional time. For lessons or units, the full equipped rubric for lessons and units is helpful, but sometimes we might want to take a look at a single task, or we may not have the time to devote to a full in-depth review. Well, the good news is, Achieve has a shorter tool, the Equip Task Rubric that evaluates a single task. While we all have our favorite look-fors, when we consider the tasks that we want to use in class, it's important that we consider standards alignment, key shifts, and necessary supports for teachers and varied learners. The task review process is intended to be done collectively in teams of three to four, though we expect each reviewer to come to the conversation having conducted a review on his or her own. An individual to collective process helps to produce a final product that honors the diverse set of expertise and analysis. The Equip Task Review Rubric for Mathematics provides criteria to determine the quality and alignment of a single task or a suite of tasks defined as a problem, a small set of problems, or an activity that focuses students' attention on a particular concept. The tool consists of three dimensions. In the first dimension, we look to see if the mathematical task aligns to one or more specific standards or parts of a standard, connects to previous learning, is sufficiently challenging, and if it provides students an opportunity to employ one or more of the standards for mathematical practice. In the second dimension, we look to see if the task requires students to engage fully with the mathematics of the task, including providing opportunities for the appropriate aspects of rigor as required by the targeted standards. Does it have the appropriate balance of concepts, procedures, and applications? In the third dimension, we look for supports. Does the task allow students to demonstrate the skills and knowledge of the targeted standards? Do the supporting materials include rubrics and scoring guidelines? Is there sufficient information for the teacher to implement the task and for the students to successfully complete it? Is the task accessible to all learners? Is it interesting and engaging? At the end of the review, consider the checked criteria and determine which overall rating descriptor best describes the task. Assign a rating of E if most criteria are checked, including all in dimension one and for those that are appropriate to the task's purpose in dimension two and three. The task is likely to promote successful learning and assessment of the skills and knowledge required in the targeted standards. Assign a rating of EI if many criteria are checked. The task is aligned to the standards and has potential but could benefit from minor improvements. Assign a rating of R if some criteria are checked. The task has potential but needs significant revision to be considered effective. Finally, assign a rating of N if the task is not recommended for instruction or assessment of the standards. Then consider your next steps. If the task is rated E, go ahead and use it. If the task is rated EI or R, reviewers may choose to revise the task. If the task is rated N, the task should probably not be used with students. The aspects of quality that are not checked in the rubric can serve as suggestions for revisions to the task. All of this is freely available on the Equip website under an open license.